Heron, are you okay? But do you realize that you were just kidnapped by like Applejack the Ripper and held captive in his basement for like a week? You just escaped. You should be running and screaming, trying to find help. Avoiding moist titties should not be a priority. Here, take the friggin' raincoat. Just put it on and slowly meander away. Sure, why not? I'm starting to think that her eyes are super beady because she's in shock. What's up, guys? Welcome to Save the Girl. That game we're judging by its name, we're probably supposed to make the right decision to help rescue this lumpy-headed Karen tied to a chair. But unfortunately for her, this is a YouTube video. Like, not a single one of you came here today with concerns for her well-being. We want hilarious, stupid, easily preventable deaths. So do we want her to cut off her restraints or burn off her restraints? Like, I would imagine that's the lighter the developers use to smoke a garbage bag full of meth when making this game, so we'll go ahead and pick that. Okay, we'll stay on theme. I would imagine that it would go poorly to be expected. But you know, these things happen. Or like one minute you and your husband are getting a little kinky, you know, you introduce some rope play into the relationship, and then before you know it, skin grafts. I gotta be honest here, Karen, I kind of expected you to look a little bit more like a deep-fried Mars bar after that fire. <laughs> Instead, you just lost your eyelids. Ooh, okay, it's fine. Like In all reality, we need all eyes open to make this 50-50 escape. So go ahead, cut off those restraints, and then make your way out of here. Something tells me the police aren't on the other side of that door. Uh, like, this is gonna develop to be some kind of saw situation. Would you believe if we want to see what's on the other side of that door, first we need to open it? Like, she seems a little bit confused about the entire concept. And has a dumper like a truck? How am I only just now noticing that? <laughs> Seriously, is that dress a tablecloth? Because it looks like an entire family could eat dinner off that thing. Unfortunately, twerk battering ram isn't one of our options. We've got mystery item or fireman's axe. I do not trust her with an axe. We'll go with the mystery item. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? It was just a brittle stick. Before we give her this axe, and she probably loses a foot, I want to be on record as saying I still think it's a better idea that she just turns around, backs it up, and blows two cheek-sized holes in that door. <laughs> that being said, I'll leave you to your own devices. I don't like the way that she walks, but at the same time, she can wield a fireman's tomahawk pretty well. Karen. Karen, Earth to Karen, I really need you to focus right now. Stop observing the ceiling and start observing the giant man-sized hole in front of you. Like, we've only got two options here. You could try to jump over it in a bucket, or you could try to cross it with a brittle piece of lumber. Like, uh, she's probably thinking maybe if I get bitten by that spider, I can crawl across the ceiling. <laughs> Unfortunately, not an option. We're gonna go ahead with the brittle piece of wood which is clearly, you didn't even take off your heels. You didn't even try. I feel like I should be the one with the giant stupid blue question mark floating over his head. Like how exactly are you gonna MacGyver a spider, the ceiling, and your captor's poop bucket into some kind of miracle escape? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, it was just a giant bucket full of the perfect amount of instantly drying cement, of course. Well, it took us four levels, but we finally got Karen to focus on something. I mean, it's a psycho brony, but it's something. I'm assuming this is the guy who kidnapped you. How about we go ahead and teach him the friendship isn't magic, and then maybe he'll just let you go or not. You know what? That's the first wrong decision that I'm actually going to take the blame for. Like, obviously, I should have gone with the mystery box. There could be anything inside the mystery box. Even a dipshit. <laughs> well, it worked. We snuck out snake style. I got out. It's pouring. Do we want a raincoat or an umbrella? Oh, I saw a little lightning up there. There's no way they put in the extra effort of animating lightning if you couldn't get struck by it, right? <laughs> I just can't resist. Karen, are you okay? But do you realize that you were just kidnapped by like Applejack the Ripper and held captive in his basement for like a week? You just escaped. You should be running and screaming, trying to find help. Avoiding moist titties should not be a priority. 
<laughs> Here, take the friggin' raincoat. Just put it on and slowly meander away. Sure, why not? I'm starting to think that her eyes are super beady because she's in shock. Well, if she wasn't in shock before, she sure as hell will be now. Wait, what happened to your raincoat? Like, all of a sudden, you're getting chased, and then it just nips to the breeze? <laughs> Do we want to block the door with a couch or with a stool? There's no way she's going to be able to go get a couch and haul it over here, right? We'll go with a stool. Maybe you can fold it up and then have it collapse under the weight of your colossal ass. I'm not one for I told you so, but you could have been blocks away by now. Like, whose house is this? Go ahead and get their couch. Just get running. Hopefully a worse psychopath doesn't live here. It's so dark. I mean, it's not that dark. It's just got a really weird flickering light. Uh, you should probably arm yourself to be perfectly honest. Or not. I really need to stop overthinking things here. Like, when she tells you she's got swamp ass, you get her a coat. When she tells you it's dark in here, you get her a flashlight. It's pretty straightforward. When she tells you, ah, scary dog, you believe her that it's a dog and not a fuzzy tractor with teeth. I don't think we should give that thing meat. Th that's an absolute mistake. It'd be like blood in the water. Once he has a taste, he's not gonna stop, so maybe he would like his favorite toy? There you go. Why didn't you run when he was busy? All I'm saying is if he finishes this rump roast before you're out of sight, he is absolutely gonna tuck into your rump roast. You had better get running right away. Move, girl. Oh, he's just gonna go inside. We still have no idea who lives there. We just feng shui their furniture and fed their dog. Listen, it's not every day that a unicorn wants to make your insides become outsides. So like Karen deserves some rest and relaxation. You know, you get away from things. You kick off your shoes, you take off your bra, you burn down a cruise ship. <laughs> oh, and we have a premium option. It looks like if I watch an ad, I can use a vacuum. I don't really want to vacuum the fire and nonetheless watch an ad. There's no way they would make me watch an ad for the wrong answer. Obviously, the vacuum must be correct, so if sucking the fire would work somehow, then maybe blowing the fire would work? We can try to fan the flames quite literally. That, okay, that was dumb. I got another great idea, Karen. How about we try to smother the flames with an alcohol-soaked rag? I'm sure this will help us. Oh, we needed to cross the smoke. That makes more sense, except we found even more smoke. It's real dark in here. Uh, we can probably get away with using matches. There's already so much fire. What would it be a little bit more fire? She really had to go and drop it immediately? Karen, there are almost 1,200 lives in danger on this ship because of you, and yet for some reason, I continue to guide you to safety. Go ahead and take your flashlight and do whatever it is you're supposed to do being continue walking forward to the next room a couple of feet away. <laughs> All right then, do we want to use a ladder or a jetpack? Well, if we gotta go up, clearly the answer is gonna be jetpack. Whether it's right or wrong, it was still the answer. I really don't see the big deal about you bouncing around on the ceiling and the floors from a jetpack. Look, you've already got a head that's as lumpy as spoiled milk. What's the difference? Go ahead, take your ladder, and escape to the deck. She's gonna be one of the very first people allowed on the lifeboats. Women and children first. Meanwhile, she was the one who doomed them all. Or not. I'm guessing they were a little short on lifeboats. In the Magenta Sea is a fickle mistress. She's already taken old lovely Jack from us. Do we want to use an umbrella, a tent, or become Thor? Hmm, I might be interested in watching an ad to become Thor, but I'm seeing lightning in the sky again, so how about we open up that umbrella? Because let's be honest, you completely deserve that. <laughs> I always assumed Mjolnir returned because of Asgardian magic, but apparently it's because of a stable Wi-Fi connection? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have the internet, so I used it to download this game, but Sure, we'll just use a tent instead. I mean, it's already clearing up. 
just trying to watch the ad made the skies freak out a little bit. Okay, then. Oh, we're getting hungry now, are we? Are we just gonna not talk about the color of the ocean? Uh, go ahead and fish for a fish. That makes sense. It's not like you're gonna pull up Godzilla. I'm willing to bet you were Thor now. If we can't be a Norwegian god, then maybe we can be a Greek one. Go ahead and smite Godzilla with the trident or just catch the fish and eat it raw. Okay. <laughs> Did she just say that tasted good? Oh no, a shark. Do we want to feed it the rump roast? Again, I'm starting to think that's what's underneath her dress. She's always got one. Or do we want to shoot it with a harpoon gun? Clearly, we're not going to feed it. I literally said, like, five minutes ago, it'd be like blood in the water. It's such a mistake. We do not want to give this thing a taste for flesh. So, we are going to defend ourselves and get pulled in. Now that I think about it, there are sharks around. There are about 1,200 missing cruise ship passengers, and the water is slightly off red. <laughs> Things are starting to add up. Maybe we don't need to worry about blood in the water. He's already good and thirsty. There we go. Hey, we made our way to a deserted island. You are not gonna survive five seconds here. I guess there is always a chance that she stores water in her hump. Like a thick camel. You never really know. What about the gun? Oh, I want to use a gun to get a coconut down. My Wi-Fi connection out here in the desert island freaking sucks. Do we want to use a club or a spear? Probably a spear. Right, then we won't have to climb up the tree. I know it's only like three feet tall, but still it just seems dangerous. White folks, right? Always hunting the natives the minute they show up somewhere. Do you see what I mean, though? She's been here for like two minutes and she's already not doing well. She's hallucinating. She thinks that those tree testicles look like coconuts. <laughs> Go ahead and hit him with a club. I, I think that's the best we're gonna get. Where'd the straw come from? Okay, we'll just continue toddling along. Maybe watch out for the angry natives. Uh, what do you want? I don't understand. Where'd that spear go? Or the gun? Something has to be getting lost in translation here. Like, I'm assuming that he wants to play rock, paper, scissors with us? <laughs> Unfortunately, all we have is candy and cat food. Let's give him the cat food. Screw him. Yeah, go ahead and... Oh, no. Why, why would you just assume that you can eat metal? I would bet money that she's gonna end up in a cauldron or tied to a stick over a fire at some point on this island. <laughs> Give him the candy and hope that that satiates him. Maybe you don't want to be a cannibal today, sir. Oh, that's either a very far away helicopter or a teensy tiny little helicopter. <laughs> that might be an RC toy. Do we want to use a fire or a firework? I mean, I guess we could try to signal it with a firework. I get the feeling we're just gonna hit it, though. Oh, it was far away. Was. Luckily, we never did use that lighter to escape the very first scenario, which means we could go ahead and light ourselves a fire, signal you over here, and hop on in. Yeah, there you go. We're just gonna clip through the side. Don't bother opening the door or anything. I'm sorry, how did we go from Cannibal Island to Zombie Forest? <laughs> that helicopter chose the worst possible place to drop you off and forgot to give you your wicked sweet guitar. God, I wish I had an internet connection. <laughs> I wish my internet connection worked. I have an internet connection. I'd watch all the TikTok ads to, oh, it just dawned on me. There aren't gonna be any more TikTok ads. They're banning TikTok. And I just made a choice without even thinking. Now her ass is getting eaten by zombies. Shocking that a candle in the wind couldn't scare off a horde of large bush zombies. Those are eyes, aren't they? I know they're blinking, so they're probably not going to be zombie bazongas. But at the same time, they're way bigger than her eyes. <laughs> How big are these zombies? Let's play a little Africa by Toto. Oh, no, it was just bats. Oh, so... Why did we get a game over for the candle if it was just bats? That is definitely a zombie. I refuse to believe that's a bat. 
Do we want to hit him with a flashlight or throw a wheel of cheese at him? Like, something tells me this zombie is after booty and not Bree. So we're gonna go ahead and defend ourselves, right? No, no, of course not. She's gonna illuminate his decrepit taint. We're currently on level 10. Each level has at least a couple of options, so we've probably gone through like 25 to 30 choices. I've been wrong every single time. I don't understand how this ha- well, no, I do understand how this happens, because this doesn't make any sense. How exactly is- it's a- it's a full moon, and she's gonna turn into a werewolf, but only long enough to scare the zombie. Does that make sense to any of you? I thought it was a wheel of cheese, but it wasn't far off. Okay, so she needs to get past the zombie. Do we want to... Uh... Zombie head or chainsaw? Usually chainsaw will lead to having a zombie head, right? Just go ahead and just chainsaw. <laughs> what do you mean it's too heavy? Wah! I honestly don't know what's dumber. The fact that in a life or death situation, she couldn't hold up a chainsaw or the fact that this zombie is warming his four fingers over the fire. <laughs> Dude, you're not gonna warm up! You're dead! That's just how this works! Look, I even have a zombie mask. It's a mask, of course. I, I, I thought it was just a, a severed zombie head for whatever reason. It doesn't matter, because we saved the girl, and we got fancy shoes if we watch an ad, which I can't. Did we honestly think that spooking them as a werewolf and sneaking past them as a mask was gonna be enough? <laughs> no, of course not, they're right behind us. And we could go kill Bill on their ass, but no, because I don't have an internet connection still. So do we wanna shoot them or throw a bean at them? Yeah, again, seems like the obvious answer is to just double tap or not. I just want to see her get eaten one time. I swear to God, if this is some kind of magic bean that turns into a beanstalk, shoot them. Oh, oh! Plants versus zombies. Oh, okay, well that was unpredictable, but at least it was clever. Interesting. We've got a car battery that we could hook up to their nips, or our nips if you're into that kind of thing. Or we could hit them with a super soaker or a Molotov cocktail. It really seems like they're trying to whammy me every time. I think the obvious answer would be the Molotov cocktail. You wouldn't want to use the super soaker, but I kind of want to hit them with the Molotov cocktail. How could this go wrong? Un unless she can't throw. Of course, we don't need to directly connect the car battery to those decomposing nips because we've got water. We can go ahead and connect at the toes. Yeah, sucks, don't it? Now you know how we feel. There's a house. Is it a haunted house? I doubt it's gonna be that easy. Oh, we've got one more. Do we wanna lube him up with canola oil or stake him? Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking stake him. Maybe, I know that's for vampires. That's, that's not gonna matter. I didn't think it was thumbtacks. They need to be a little bit more specific with their descriptors. I can't just assume, like, I don't really want to give him an oil massage right now. I would much rather attack him and run, but if this is going to be some kind of slick trap, then I guess that works. Sure, he's not going to get up anytime. You are lucky, I'll give you that much. <laughs> we made it into the house. Now, who do you think lives here? My guess is gonna be no one helpful. Oh, medieval armor, it is freaking me out. Really, it's the armor freaking you out? That's a piece of art. I'd be a lot more concerned about the baby skull photo. <laughs> well, we can't use a flaming bowling ball, unfortunately, but we can cosplay as Captain America. Do we want his shields or his helmet? Something's probably gonna fall on her lumpy head again, isn't it? Okay, well, we'll go with the helmet. Yeah, I, I feel like that's probably gonna... Oh, come on! I totally predicted it, that should've worked! What's the point of a helmet if you can get whacked in the head and still lose? <laughs> Fine, use the shield! Is that gonna... Yeah, okay, I got it, it saved you. Wonderful, great, thank you, moving on. At least we got to be one Avenger today. 
Yeah, that's a real big booger. Do we want to wait for the sun to dry it out? <laughs> or do we want to mop it up? I, I mean, I don't overly want to do either. There's no way we're supposed to wait for the sun to come up, right? It's, it's way too long. Just mop it up. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, that's sticky. It's, it's fine. It's apparently not fine. It, it's just, it, it's life or death. And if she loses her mop, death. All I'm saying is that zombie that you had fall down at the front gate has clearly called life alert by now, and he is going to be up and at him and right on top of you before the sun comes up. Or not. She just stood there like this for about seven hours. Everything is fine. Everything is not fine. We've got a ghost. What do I do? I don't know, man. Cage it or vacuum it. There's no way you can cage a ghost. There's just, just no way we could have try it, obviously. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> She's just the dumbest. How about instead of trying to be a hero and go full-blown Luigi's Mansion on his ass, we just take two big steps backwards into the room full of sun. Feel like that would probably get the job done. <laughs> then again, you obviously have to make the right choice so that we can move on. Yay. <laughs> God, she gives me a migraine. Where did you steal a forklift from? We just left some random haunted house, we vacuumed up a ghost, and then boom, forklift. Grand Theft Auto style. We're just driving down the sidewalk into a tree that's apparently in our way. Okay. Do we just drive past it? I feel like that's not right. Oh, there's a joke about women drivers in there somewhere, but I just can't be bothered to make it. Karen, I'm not exactly some kind of rocket biologist, but maybe you could just turn the wheel ever so slightly and go around the tree rather than like pull it up out of the ground. Why are you even doing this? Are you still running from the zombies? Because, oh, okay, no, you are actually running from a lot of zombies. Uh, uh, well, fine, I thought for a second she was just out for a joy ride. <laughs> Destroying public property. Do we want to put a pedal to the metal? or the giant red mystery button. The giant red mystery button could do anything. It could even put a pedal to the metal. <laughs> Clearly we got... Who puts an ejection seat in a forklift? So you can't plow through a tree, but you can plow through a horde of zombies? Okay, fine, let's see it. Oh, she even backed up over some of them. Get out of the way! <laughs> Who are you talking to? Oh. Roid zombie, hello there. <laughs> Do we want another mystery button? Ooh, or to actually turn the wheel. I swear to God, if she turns the wheel and just goes around the zombie, like I said, with her, no, we're going with the mystery button. She could do anything. She could even turn the wheel. <laughs> Let's try this, yes. I actually got something right. That was the first time I've been right this entire episode and it involved her turning the forklift into a transformer and she got more clothes that I can't collect. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Save the Girl, guys. I will never say that these games are good because they're not. They're just random clicker crap, to be perfectly honest, but I enjoy them. You know, I find that they make for really good videos and I know a lot of people enjoy watching them. This has been downloaded by a hundred million people somehow <laughs> I just saw that and was shocked because I have an internet connection and I can see these things but if you guys want to see me return for more as always be sure to leave a like in this video let me know maybe next time I'll pick all of the epic options or go back and see what we missed but thanks so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time